Hello everyone, my name is RX Codes, and today I will be showing you one of the things I've been working on for the past couple days. Oh yeah, uh, not this. This is still experimental. I have created my very own YouTube companion app. Of course, it's not done either yet. But it takes advantage of HTTPS requests. More on that later. I program it to gather data from videos like tags. YouTube normally doesn't display these tags to viewers, but uh, here you go. This app can gather hidden information just like that. It's useful if you want to see what tags other people have been using in their videos, so you can use it on your videos. Uh, interesting. Rick? That's, that's... And it's 100% free to use like all my other projects and games. Well, for now, that's all it does. Soon, you will be able to create your own thumbnails, banners, and even avatars. The app will be able to provide real-time personalized feedback on how you format and publish your YouTube videos. Yeah, like all the things that a YouTube companion app does, I guess. Cool. Oh, no promises though. I made this app mainly for fun and because someone else suggested it. I thought it would be nice to try out something new every now and then. In addition, this app is 100% free to use. No logins, no ads, no anything. Look at this. I literally had to pay $20 for this app just to use its premium features. Oh, and it was a subscription. You gotta be kidding me. I could have done this instead. Nobody has to pay for anything. Everyone benefits. It's a win-win situation. This is a ripoff. It's literally a copy of YouTube Studio. I'm dying. Well, I don't recommend this app if you just want to grow a YouTube channel. Um, there's definitely better and cheaper alternatives like this. Yeah. Now, how does this work? I didn't need to build my own server, so this app is 100% sustainable. Everything you see is calculated on the device itself, so it's cool. This project uses HTTP requests, which are actually common in practice. Whenever you browse the internet, view a website, download media, or even just open an app, somewhere in there, an HTTPS request was sent. Your device sends a request to the server, and the server sends back a response. In our case, we want to request information about a YouTube video, and we would get a response containing video data such as upload date, video length, view count, video offer, etc. Oh, and YouTube sends back a lot of data. Of course, only the most relevant pieces of information are shown to the user, but there's also things like keywords, ratings, regions allowed, video properties such as bitrate and sample rate, alternative thumbnails. Oh yeah, a video can have multiple thumbnails, apparently. Isn't that interesting? And weird, why does YouTube send back my IP address? No, don't even think about it. Yeah, that's just a little bit. There's a lot more going in the background. I programmed the app to specifically look for video analytics, which can be useful if you really want to see what other YouTubers are putting into their videos. So you can steal their clout. I mean, um, so you can be recognized. <laughs> Please cut that out. No, I'm not cutting it oh, out. Oh god. Oh, you care about clout. Shh, huh? Stop exposing me. That's all I have to show. Again, this project is completely free to use, so if you want to boost your presence on YouTube, then you can try it out on Hyperpad. Oh yeah. Did I mention? You don't even have to log in. Screw those. I have no idea why all these other services require access to your account. That's kinda sus. Also, I saw that we reached well over 30 likes on that last T-Pom video. Thank you guys so much, I really appreciate it. I will start working on a tutorial on how to recreate Friday Night Funking on Hyperpad. I haven't made a tutorial in a while, so it'll take some time for me to get used to. And there's a bunch of other things going on too, so yeah. All of the tutorials will be on the Hyperpad YouTube channel, so check it out if you want to learn how you can do things like this. That's all I have for this video. See you later!